of you. Amen. It's good to see all these smiling faces. All yes. right. He's giving me a thumbs up. So we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by video or audio. Uh, Pastors Jose and Patricia from New Beginnings Church and a big band, we welcome you. Amen. Into our church. A church you can call home. Our motto is honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Are you ready to receive? Yes. As we say all the time, we got to come prepared to receive. Amen. He always had something for us, but are you willing to receive? First of all, I wanted to say thank you, praise team. That is awesome. And if you have never participated in, uh, in praise and worship, I encourage you to please do. Because Amen. praise is the highest form of prayer there is. Amen. You know, when the walls of Jericho... They said it would never come down. Man could never tear him down. God says, yeah. he gave the great general Joshua a plan. He says, send them uh, praise, praisers up front. Mm -hmm. And the general is scratching his head. like, this is not the way we're supposed to do war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he sent the praisers up front. So prayer, praise is powerful. Don't tell me you can't sing. That's right. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. He tells Amen. us to make a joyful noise unto Him. Amen. You're just keeping yourself from praising Him. Nobody should stop you from praising Him. That's right. The warriors, they marched around the city all these times, you know, seven times, seven days. And guess what? The, guess what? Those walls came down. Yes. That was God's plan. He has Amen. great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's right. Amen. So include yourself. You know, He made us to be participators, not spectators. Some of us want to spectate and uh -huh. sit back and see what's going to happen. That's all right. But you know what? He didn't call us to spectate. He didn't call us to judge. He didn't call us to clean anybody. He oh. calls us to share the word. Amen. And that's what we need to do. We need to go out there into the world and share the word. You know, sometimes uh, we get comfy with our little group. We have a great group here. You know, we have a great church. But <laughs> he says, for God so loved the world, yes. he died for all them too. Amen. And they haven't heard the good news. You know the the good the, the truth is going to set them free. But we got to take the word to them. He's going to use us. Ministers of reconciliation. Well, I'm not called to be a minister. When well, the Bible says you are. Yeah. He says you're a minister of reconciliation. Also says that you are his ambassador. Yes. You know what an ambassador does? He's a mouthpiece that brings the message out. Yes. So, you know, you get filled. And you go out and you share it. You don't keep it in. You got to let right. it out. You know, when the cup gets full, it spills over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get full of the word and you're going to spill over. You're going to yeah. spill out into them. Yes. And you're going to bring the word to them. Don't say, I can't do it. The Bible says you can do <laughs> all, things, all things. things through Christ who strengthens yeah. you. But you got to know these things. So when you know the truth, the truth is going to set you free. It's going to set you free from all these mindsets. <laughs> Okay, it's going to set you free from, from, from the world and their traditions. Men's traditions, you know, will keep us down. Okay, it's not about traditions. It's about what God, what Jesus has already done for us. We ain't even started yet. <laughs> but prepare yourselves to receive. He wants to bless you. He wants to change you. We've grown, you know, the little baby needs to be changed. But you know what? We need, we need to change ourselves too. Yeah. And He wants to change us. But we're not allowing him to. Mm -hmm. He said he wants to come in. He said he knocks mm -hmm. at your heart. But we're not letting him in anymore. You know? mm -hmm. uh, not, 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 not right now. Mm -hmm. He wants to come in and fellowship with you. He wants to have relationship with you. Amen. But we're not letting him. We need to let him in and have relationship with you. That sign back there says, Each day mm -hmm. is a gift. Receive with gratitude. Each day, the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. And none of it said, be sad in it. It says, be glad in it. Because we know who our God is. We know who's backing us. When you know all these things, you're pressing on. You're not holding back. And thinking of all the things you failed, of all the things that happened. Mm. He's not doing that. You mean I'm getting way ahead of myself. It's all right. <laughs> so anyway. To the end. <laughs> <laughs> let's get the right attitude, amen? Let's get the right attitude. So anyway, we want to start off first of all as a mighty soldier of God. Mm -hmm. If you don't know yet, when you <laughs> received him as your Lord and Savior, <laughs> uh -huh. you're a soldier for Jesus. Amen? Yes, amen. So you're in his army. 
And this is your sword right yes. here. Amen. This is your weapon. This the Bible is says, this is my Bible. I am what it says. I, I have what it says. I, I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise God. I don't want to be the same. I want to grow from day to day. Yes. Not just from year to year, but from day to day. Of course, I want to change every year. I don't want to be the same. He wants us to grow. We're not, we, we, we cannot stay uh, uh, spiritual babies all our lives. We That's have right. to grow up. Because you know what? <laughs> As you grow up huh. in new levels, new levels, new devils. Oh, boy. <laughs> And they get stronger mm -hmm. as you go up. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The Bible says you fight a spiritual battle every day. It's a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And you got to have the word in you. Yes. You got what it takes to defeat the enemy. Yes. The Bible says we fight a defeated foe. Yes. So how come we're living a defeated life? Mm -hmm. We can't do that no more. Mm -hmm. We got to live victorious in him. Because yes. he told us to. Yes. Amen. The Bible says the devil's under your feet. Mm -hmm. So what is he doing running over you? Yeah. <laughs> We got to put him on the run yep. instead of us running from him. Amen. Let's get this straight. You know, we started the year knowing let's confess the right word. Mm -hmm. Let's confess the word of God and not the problem. And we're so quick to confess the problem before we confess God. Mm -hmm. We're so quick to receive the bad instead of receiving the good. Mm -hmm. We just got to get these things straight. Amen. He says we, we have to get our priorities in order. Mm -hmm. And priority, priority, first priority is God first. Mm -hmm. God first. Amen. We gotta take ourselves off the throne mm -hmm. and put him on the throne. Amen. And just listen and spend time with him and fellowship with him. Amen. Church alive is worth the pride. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. I have a great message he's given me. So uh, we may not get all the way through, but still, Amen. it's okay. Just open up. He might have one word for you. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he told Peter, come and you walked on water. Amen. That's all, that's, all, that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a all, you know, a long message. Just mm -hmm. come. And that's it. He told that demon possessed man, he told those demons, he says, go. Mm -hmm. And those demons came out quick. Yeah. You know, over 2,000 of them mm -hmm. came out of that man. Mm -hmm. How do I know it was 2,000? Because there was 2,000 pigs out there. Yeah. <laughs> And it says the pe peaceful pigs was just eating away. And the next thing you know is they're running over the cliff. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the enemy got into them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we can get that enemy away yeah. from us. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Parker came this morning and said, what's the name of the message? <laughs> Don't give it to me right then because he never gave it to me before. <laughs> Out with the old. All right. Mm -hmm. You know. When you get new shoes or you get new clothes, oh boy. <laughs> that old stuff is gone. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, I do. I don't know about you. But I get rid of old stuff. I'm new stuff, you know. But we tend to hold on to mm. old stuff. And we're going to be talking about closing the old, closing them this year and opening a new year. Mm. I, I, I wrote it this way. Closing the old with a bang and opening the new with a bang. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you want to finish on fire, hot for God, and open hot for Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm a sports crazy. I'm a sports nut myself, you know. And I love sports, you know. And I get in front of the TV. I've been to all the stadiums you can name. But when I get there, I'm jumping up and down crazy for what's going on on the field. <laughs> and we come to church and we sit like little white mice. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be, how come we're excited for the world? We yeah. need to be excited for the Savior of the world. Yeah. <laughs> we we got to turn this around, church. Yes. Amen. 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 Turn Praise this around. God. Praise God. Let me, read, let me read. Some of you are on my timeline on Facebook. And I want to read you a special uh, a nugget that we're going to be talking about. I wrote it like this. It's, uh, it's called a scriptural break. It says, forgive, focus, and forward. Or forgive, stay focused and forward, press on. Don't look back on yesterday or the past. Look full that's so full of failure and regret. Look ahead at the new day, at the new year, and see God, God's way. 
all sin confessed, you must forget. He forgives us and he forgets about it. Yes. But the, the world and yourself and the enemy, the, the mind which the enemy attacks so strong, mm -hmm. you're still thinking, he didn't forgive me. Maybe he didn't forgive me this time. Mm -hmm. And the world is going to surround you with people that says, I know who you are. I know what mm -hmm. you've done. And they bring all these things mm -hmm. to mind. But if Jesus can forgive and forget, why can't we? Yeah, that's right. We got to get away from the past. You confessed it yesterday, but you're still carrying it on to today. Mm -hmm. And you want to carry it on for forever. Mm -hmm. Let go of the past and move on. Focus yes. on pleasing God yes. as we come to an end of the year. So often we look back with regrets on things we didn't accomplish. Mm -hmm. But sin is one thing we should never or never need to look back on with feelings or failures. Mm -hmm. If we have confessed our sins and asked God to forgive for God's forgiveness, we need to keep a forward focus towards the goal of pleasing him. Mm. Amen. Wow. You know, this all a story about the prodigal son. Mm. He wanted to walk away from, from the dad and give me what's mine. Yeah. God, you know, thank you for mm -hmm. taking me this far, but I can take I can I, I can do it the rest of the way without you. Yeah. And just take off. Yeah. And next thing you know is <laughs> the world's ate your lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you ain't got nothing to eat, so the prodigal son's eating with the pigs. He says, you know what? If I go back to Father, I can have a better place. I can eat better. Even the servants eat better than this. So we will go back to Father. And you know what? When you fail and you ask forgiveness, He forgives you. Yes. And you know where you can get up? And don't quit. But you get up. And you don't stop. And you don't give up. You get up. Who calls you? He did. Who approved you? He did. Who gifted you? He did. Mm -hmm. You're on a mission for him. You're special for him. You're a child of God. Mm -hmm. He's the one that calls you. You fell on your own. But when you ask forgiveness, he'll forgive you and say, get up. It's time to get up. It's time to press on with what I called you to do. We're not finished yet. He's not finished with you. That's right. You got to see yourself that way. You got to see yourself the way he sees you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I, I used to tell the children and the youth when we were teaching them, put on your Jesus glasses on. Mm -hmm. put, on put on your love and compassionate glasses on. Mm -hmm. When you see people, instead of seeing the fault, yeah. put your Jesus glasses on and you see what he says in them. Mm -hmm. God sees Jesus. Amen. Jesus, the same Jesus that yes. died for you, <laughs> died for them. Yes. They don't know the truth yet, so they're still in the world. Mm -hmm. But when you share the truth with them, they're going to want to come out of that. And it's going to come out of them. And you're the one that's going to lead them. And it's so beautiful, you know. It's good to have a great job and all these beautiful things. But guess what? Sharing the word mm -hmm. and pulling somebody out of hell yes. is a whole lot better Amen. than all the money can buy. That's Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank it was Lord. you. God using you mm -hmm. to share his word. That's a beautiful thing right there. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise I forgot to tell you, I've got all these wonderful notes, but I just follow the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when the, when the Holy Ghost wants, He is. Praise he's, God. I don't want to preach and make myself happy. I want to preach and make Him happy yes. because He's the one that's leading, not me. Amen. Amen. Praise so praise God. God, God is good. Yes, He is. Praise God. All the time. Praise God. Praise God. Well, let's continue here. Listen to this. This is a, a great song. Maybe Pastor Pat can come up and sing it. <laughs> As you press on with him, <clears throat> the world behind me, the cross before me. I'm leaving the world behind. Mm -hmm. He told Lot and his wife, says, leave Simon and Gomorrah. He says, but don't look back. Mm -hmm. Don't look back. Lot's wife looked back. Mm -hmm. The cross before me. You know what? You may have fallen. You may have walked away from him. But he still wants you. Yes. It's your decision Amen. to turn around and come back. He says when you do an about face and come back, <laughs> he's there to receive you with open arms. Regardless of what so-and-so said, you know when you fail, God can't use you anymore. Regardless of what religion says or somebody else told you, God can't use you anymore. You're no good. Is that right? Well, show me scripture about that. Well, it's not scriptural. 
So that's why it's so important we get the word in us. So we know what the scripture says and not what man says. Amen. 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 And if you see the scripture and you see what man says, you take the scripture and you take the word over what they said. Excuse me, but I'm going with what the word of God says. And you press on. Amen. Amen. Ooh, praise God. I'm preaching about the amen in there. All right, now. <laughs> We're taking it in. <laughs> Listen, the, the world behind me, the cross before me, is that the way it goes? Yes. Okay, that's a good song. We're going to have to sing that. Press on, mighty warrior, child of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Close it up. <clears throat> An old chapter of life and opening up a new chapter. Amen? Yes. A lot of you are readers. I'm not an avid reader. But you know, when you close out a good chapter, uh -huh. you can't wait to go to the next chapter. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get stuck in the same chapter and read it over and over. That's what happens when you get stuck in the past. Yeah. He's got better things for you. He's got plans for you. But you got to keep on moving. Yes. you got to keep on pressing with you. Amen? You can't Stay back. It's a new chapter. We're about to close this year, but 2018 is coming up. Yes, it is. And he's got great plans for you. See yes. yourself that way. See yes. yourself in 2018 mm -hmm. and serving him even greater than this year. Amen. Amen. So praise, praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. I want you to feel good. I want you to understand that he has great plans for you and he yes. wants you to feel good. Amen. Close out. Thank you, Lord. Never close out or start a new day or new year in neutral mm. you know we get comfy and we just stop mm. and we relax and we stop feeding on the word it's when the spiritual battle begins mm. you know you've done too much you've gone to church too much this year it's time to stop <laughs> relax Can I miss <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, next thing you know is the mind is going 100 miles mm -hmm. and the thoughts is coming mm -hmm. and instead of having the shields up those shields of faith up the next thing you know is they're coming down mm -hmm. and we're receiving it and we're giving in mm -hmm. and next thing you know is we're just like the world and we've gone back instead of going forward mm -hmm. so be careful he says to stay hot yes. or cold mm -hmm. but not lukewarm That's so right. let's not play church the enemy is busy. The enemy is 24-7. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The enemy is serious. Yes, he is. He never rests. Mm. But we need to do the same thing. We've said this many times over this past year. Mm -hmm. Full-time, uh, part-time Christians, no match for a full-time full devil. Time, yeah. He's That's a full-time right. devil. What about yes, you? Yes, he is. If you're only doing part-time, he's going to have you. Mm -hmm. Give him no place, the Bible says. Yes. We can give him no place. No place. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Come on now, you're getting too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no place. Close out, or close, or start hot. Close this year, start next year hot. Yes. Rejoicing, <clears throat> praising Him with a winning attitude mm. and with your priorities in order. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, Matthew mm -hmm. 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, His righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Mm -hmm. So we got to get our priorities right. Amen. I guarantee you, when you start a job, if you have a job, you have a plan. Yes. And you have a vision. You have goals. And you're going to follow your goals. Mm. We're going to, we have to do the same thing in serving Him. we yes. got to keep Him first. If He's Amen. not first, you ain't going nowhere. That's right. And we're only inviting defeat. Because the enemy is going to have you. Mm -hmm. Not because he wants to give you up. The Bible says, <laughs> enemy, the devil, your only enemy, yes. comes to do what? Steal, steal kill, kill, destroy. destroy. That's what he wants to mm -hmm. do. He wants to steal from you. He wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. He wants to destroy you, period. You're a child of God. And we give ourselves in. By letting our shields down. Mm. By taking the armor off. He says, never says take the armor off. He says, put the armor on. The whole armor of God. Yes. Amen. So let go of the past. <laughs> oh, um, this is, this is, pastor. Failures, <laughs> mistakes, problems, worries, lacks, old mindsets, mm. old tradition, bad traditions, bad habits, bad companies, bad attitudes. Mm. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Mm. Let go of the old and open up the new. Amen. Yes. Uh, just give you a quick, uh, quick glance. I have some handouts for you. I haven't passed them out yet. But, uh, oh, this is cool. We always give up handouts. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see Vicky's uh, binder. Uh, oh, gosh. I know I had it here somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. There's a rack over there. It's got all kinds of things. And it's got the B attitudes. Yeah. B attitudes, meaning we got to have a good attitude. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's easy to have a bad attitude. Oh, yeah. But listen to this. Yes. Listen to this. Words are containers. You just don't go shoot them out. Mm -hmm. Words are containers for power. You can have bad power, or you can have good power. Mm. But the choice is yours. Yes. Because you're going to be shooting them out. Yes. Are you going to be planning bad or good? The choice is yours. You know, you can't blame nobody else but yourself. Words are containers of power. You choose what kind of power they carry. Mm -hmm. So the choice is yours. Yes. Positive or negative, good or bad, the choice is yours. You know, a lot of times... I have things come all the way. That's why it's so good to have a guard to your mouth or guard your tongue or don't let the tongue, don't be hung by the tongue. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> because what you sow, what you plant is going to grow. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to grow on whoever you told off. It's going to grow in you. Yeah, on your garden. In your garden. Mm. So be careful. Be more selective of the words you use. Because Jesus, God said, the words I send out, they will go and accomplish what I send them to do. Mm -hmm. So the words are seed that yes. you're sowing. And whatever you sow, you know, seed, God created seed to produce after it's put in the right um, soil. So be careful because when we plant these seeds in our hearts, uh, they'll grow. Amen? Woo. Got real quiet in here. No. <laughs> 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 uh, pastor's growing too, okay? Pastor's learning too, so I'm a learner. Oh, here we go. Beatitudes. The Beatitudes. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a few. Uh, we got quite a few of them on here. A whole page of them. Mm -hmm. um, be yourself, be compassionate, be prayerful, be loving, be thankful, be courteous. Be available, be obedient, no, be boy. merciful, be wise, be committed, be blessed, be healed, be focused, be honest, be victorious, be a winner, be an overcomer, be strong, be free, be dedicated, be ready, be excited, be rejoiceful, mm. be on time. <laughs> <laughs> I promise oh. I want to be on time. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Children of God should always be on, on, on time. Be kind, be dependable, be happy, be good. Be a champion. Be nice. Be joyful. Be holy. Be loyal. Be trustworthy. This is just a few. These is the kind of beatitudes we need to have. Mm -hmm. Amen. People see these things, and they're learning <laughs> because they see you. Is watch your words and your actions because people are watching mm -hmm. and they're listening. Mm -hmm. I thought you were a Christian. Mm. I heard what come out of your mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard, I saw what you did. I thought you was a Christian. They never yeah. speak to you and they never say anything, but they've heard about you. Mm. And they'll bring it out real quick. These are good. Yeah. <laughs> These are good. Got a whole rack of them over there. <laughs> Hopefully, by the end of the service, they'll rack of the <laughs> Let's continue. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I've got another one. Uh, Mr. Daniel, if you come up, sir. Daniel, if you pass those out, sir. Appreciate it. Oh, boy. See, I get a white one. You get a nice, pretty, pretty one. We've been talking about this. Never, never be a prisoner of your past. It is just... It, was, it just, was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Yeah. So most of us are still stuck in the back. Oh boy. We're still prisoners or slaves oh, of Jesus. the past. Mm. We gotta let it go. Yes. But you don't know what they told me. 
That's all right. Do you know what they told Jesus? Oh, yeah. Jesus went through all this. The greatest role model, the greatest hero you can have. Mm -hmm. You know, he was beaten, he was spit on, he was stripped and hung naked up there for people to see. Shameful. Mm -hmm. And so many things that were said to him. I thought you was the king. I thought you was this. Yeah. I thought you was that. Yeah. But he never let the past keep him slave or yeah. be a prisoner. And you know what he did? When he crucified him and they beat him and said all these ugly things about him, he looked to the Father and he told his Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. So if he can forgive us and forget what we've done to him, Yes. Why can't we do that? Amen. As children of God, we need to. We need yeah. to do that. Amen. We need yeah. to forgive and forget. And that's why we're not called to clean them. <laughs> we're just called right. to share. Not clean. Plant the seed. Plant the seed. That's it. Leave it there. All right. Oh Let's continue. Praise God. Woo, start every day, every year, New Year, by staying positive in a negative world. In a dark world. You already know this. It's negative. Everything you see on TV, everything you, you see on, on uh, media, on billboards, or newspapers, or magazines, or anything, is always negative. It's the bad news. It's bad, bad, bad. I've said this before. We're a church of the good news. Yes. We're ministers of the good news. Amen. So you go and spread the good news. If you hear bad things, don't spread the bad things. That's spread right. the good things. Mm -hmm. You know, and if they're saying something bad about somebody, and if you can't say anything good about them, don't say it. Mm -hmm. Don't join the crowd. Don't join the bad. Don't sow the bad seed. That's right. Say or say something nice, you know, that's a good person. Mm -hmm. I'll say something kind about it. Stay positive in a negative world, a dark world, and circumstances. Past things must be released. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, 1 through 4, I'm going to read it to you. In the, uh, the NIV, it says, And live as though made alive in Christ. First, first one says, verse 1 says, since then you have been uh, raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above yes. where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God. Verse 2. Set your minds on things above yes. and not on earthly things. In verse 3. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. In verse 4. When, when uh, Christ, who is uh, your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Amen. Amen. So praise God. praise God. He's telling us we must clean our spiritual life. Mm -hmm. We fight this spiritual battle on a daily basis. Amen. So we need to uh, keep our minds, our, our spirits filled with the word, yes. our minds renewed with the word of God, Amen. so we don't fall back into the That's past, right. into the world, and we need to crucify the flesh. Yeah. Go to uh, 1 Thessalonians and it talks about us being a three-part being. Uh -huh. If you didn't know that, now you know. <laughs> We're a spirit. Yes. We have a soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Mm -hmm. And we live in a body. body, flesh. Okay? The spirit, you feed the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Your soul, your mind, will, and emotions, you renew with the Word of God. Amen. And your flesh, you crucify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the flesh wants to do do nice and comfy things. Yeah. <laughs> and the flesh says, uh, your mind says, oh, we're going to stay home. And the flesh says, yes. <laughs> but when you, you, you feed your spirit and you renew your mind and the spirit says, we're going to church. And the mind says, yes, we're going to church. And the flesh says, I don't want to go. But you drive them along because that's two against one. So the flesh has to go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's okay to smile, then we gotta give our friends a, a break once in a while. <laughs> yeah, joy is good. The joy of the Lord is your strength. strength. We need to laugh a lot, you know. When you frown too much, you know when you smile, you might break your face. 
<laughs> we must clean ourselves spiritually. Yes. You know, we clean ourselves mm -hmm. on a daily basis. We mm -hmm. we we go and, and we shower, we clean ourselves. We put clean clothes on. Thank God. Spiritually we need to do the same thing. Yes. yes. You know, if, if you take your car and you wash it real nice and pretty, uh -huh. look so nice and shiny, Hector can do a real good job on those. <laughs> you make, uh, paint it for you, so beautiful. It looks so great. And you go between here and uh, uh -huh. and, and Alpine, and all of a sudden you you ran into something, you ran into a storm, a rainstorm, or snowstorm, and all these bugs attack your windshield. Oh boy! The next thing you know is that car is filthy. Uh -huh. So what do you do? You wash it again. <laughs> you can't see in the spirit realm, but these. Demonic spirits yes. are wanted to attach themselves to Oh, them. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The spirit, the spirit world is for real. Yes, it the is. The Bible says we don't fight flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. We fight these spirit beings. Mm -hmm. And they want to attach themselves to you. Yes. And when they come and they find a nice clean house, guess uh -huh. what? They're going to live there. They want to live there. Mm -hmm. And they want to stay there. Mm -hmm. And the only way to get rid of them is cast them out. That's right. Amen. Cast them out. Say, you got to go. Mm -hmm. Jesus told those demons, go. And they went. But you have authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. But they come and then they'll want to stay. And you got to be careful with your eye gate, mm -hmm. your ear gate, what you say, your words, mm -hmm. because you invite them in. Yeah. And you open the door for them to come in. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And you got to be careful. So, anyway. Um, they're, they're hard to get, get rid of. And once you cast them out, they'll grow. And if you don't renew yourself and feed yourself and strengthen yourself in Him in the Word, yeah. they'll want to come back. Oh, yeah. Say, wow, well, the house is still clean. I want to go back home. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them in. That's it. So that means we got to change our ways. Yes. The ways we are, the ways we're talking. Mm -hmm. we got to change our words. Mm -hmm. You know, words are powerful. You know, we used to say this in... In the playground, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Huh. It's totally, that's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah. Words can hurt you spiritually, for sure. Mm -hmm. They might not feel it physically, but spiritually, mm -hmm. it's going to hurt you. Yeah. Cast it all on Him. Yes. Release it. Let it go. Amen. Renew your minds. Things try to attach themselves to our lives. These things don't have a place. Give them no place. No Amen. Place. Amen. Whatever the Lord takes, let it go. Mm -hmm. Don't take it back. And I'll give you this. When you go dump your trash in a dumpster, you don't go back and take it back. So if God cleans you and takes things from you or takes friends away from you, don't go back and get them. That's right. Let them go. Amen. Let them go. <laughs> Open your Bibles to Romans uh, chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2. You brought your Bibles? Let's use them. <laughs> Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Read there. Mine says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present what? Your, your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but, ye, but be ye transformed by what? Renewing, Renewing your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. So he wants us to renew our mind. He knows where the battlefield goes on yes. in your mind. You're not the only one that's thinking, wow, what time the Cowboys come on? Yeah. Hurry up, Pastor. Hurry up, Pastor. What time the game's on? Where do we have to be at? Yeah. See, the Lord wants to minister to you. And the words flying by you, <laughs> and you're not receiving it because your mind's on the game. You know? like, oh man, I forgot, I forgot to record it. Oh my God, hurry up, Pastor. <laughs> That's what you know. A lot of times we go and un and dump on him, and we pray one way. We just go and dump on him, but we never wait to yeah. see what he's going to say. Yeah. You know, he might just tell you, just. Just stay there quietly mm -hmm. and receive from me. Mm -hmm. You may not want you to do nothing else. But we just go and boom. We mm -hmm. just 
unloaded on him, mm -hmm. but we never wait to see what he's going to yeah. unload on us. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not just a one way thing. That's right. Whatever the Lord takes, let it go. Amen. Yes. Amen. Paul tells us in Colossians 3 2, focus our thoughts on heavenly things. Mm -hmm. Avoid getting caught up in worldly things. Mm -hmm. Things that pollute our mind. Yeah. That's the spiritual matter. We knew it often. Not just once in a while, but once a year. <laughs> But constantly. Mm. Amen. Because you, those thoughts come. You know, you want to kill somebody? <laughs> you want to hurt somebody? Oh, boy. Oh, Lord, no, take these thoughts away from me. Mm. <laughs> I just want to lay hands on somebody. Lord, you, can, you can heal them later. Oh, God. Focus your mind on things of God. Amen. Yes. Renew your mind. Amen. Praise God. Enter the new year of 2018 with new opportunities. Yes. New assignments, <laughs> new beginnings, and pressing on with Him. You know, forget about the past. You know, I didn't do so good serving you 2017. Well, 2018, we're going to do better. Don't promise all these things. Just promise to be a better servant, to be a better child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. I need you, Lord. I can't do it without you. On a daily basis, you know, there's giants waiting for you. There's cares, there's problems. There's all these things out there on a daily basis. You just got to spend time with him. Lord, I need you. I can't do it without you. Just like David, going, facing Goliath, facing his giant. He knew, even as a boy, that his God was backing him, that God was with him. When you know God is with you, it doesn't matter how many giants are out there. Right. He said he said he ran to Goliath. Mm -hmm. He ran out there. He just didn't sneak out there. <laughs> All the soldiers and King mm -hmm. Saul was just back there. Mm -hmm. They were talking the problem. Yeah. He was the only one talking about God. Mm -hmm. Where's your God, guys? Mm -hmm. Why haven't you even talked about God yet? Mm -hmm. All you're talking about is a problem in front of you. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't want to talk the problem. We want to talk God. But God, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God is great. God is yes. good. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. We're going to read up to this uh, scripture here in a few minutes, then we're going to stop. Yeah. Praise God. That's the first time you said amen. <laughs> <laughs> amen. <laughs> and you said it loud, too. I'm going to remember that now. <laughs> oh, first start a new year. Yes. First start on things we want to accomplish. Amen. Personally, better health. Yes. New business. New goals. Spiritually, new spiritual goals. Mm -hmm. Don't let Satan, listen church, don't let Satan, people, things, excuses hold you back. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our greatest role model. Yes. He could have use all kind of excuses to say, you know what, Father? Oh, gosh. I left the perfect heaven yeah. to come here oh, gosh. to die for these complaining people. Oh, man. I want out of here. Forget <laughs> it. I don't want to be crucified anymore. I don't want to be sacrificed anymore. Just get me out of here. Yeah. He could have gave up yeah, he could. and just say, forget it. But he, but he didn't. He's our greatest role model. He's our greatest hero. Yes. You know, he renewed his mind. He just prayed and asked the Father, I need your strength. He was healing. He was healing. He said, I need your strength to carry on. I need your strength to love these hateful people. <laughs> we need to do that. Lord, I need you on a daily basis as I go out. Amen. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Only time we rejoice is that God is ready. Yeah. <laughs> we're not for the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> so don't let anything hold you back. He called you and he wants you to accomplish what he called you to do. Yeah. And you gotta see yourself that way. I am a special child of God and he called me and I'm gonna fulfill what he called me to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it doesn't yeah. matter what comes your way or what giants come your way. Mm -hmm. Be excited and close out this year, the old year with a bang, and yes. open the new one with a bang. A Amen. bigger bang. And Amen. press on. Don't Hallelujah. quit. Don't give up. God's not finished with you. Yes. Just see that. He's not finished with you. I'm pressing on. As long as you're still alive, He wants you here. And yes. He wants you to fulfill what He's called you to do. Amen. Amen. And we're going to read the scripture and then we're going to stop. Amen. It's, it's the second time. Amen. <laughs>
<laughs> Go to Philippians. Go to Philippians chapter 3. This is a powerful, powerful scripture. Philippians. I wonder if I find it. I'll read it in Spanish. <laughs> Philippenses. Okay, chapter 3 and verse 12 through 14. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, you follow me. I'll read it from this one. <laughs> I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or that I've already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Yeah. Verse 13. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing. Yeah. Remember in the past. Come on. Yeah. What's it say? No, I don't say yeah. <laughs> it says forgetting the past. Forgetting. <laughs> and looking forward to what lies ahead. The cross behind me I mean, the world behind me, the cross before me. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. And verse 14 says what? I press on to reach the end of the race, to receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling me. Amen. He's calling you. You know what he's calling you? To heaven. But he won't call you until you fulfill what he's called you to do. It's so important we stay strong in Him. Amen. It's so important we just stay focused yes. on what He's called us to do so we can fulfill what He's called us to do. Amen. Amen. So press on towards the goal for the price. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so let me read you another scripture. Let me read you another scripture. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Do not remember the things that you have that have happened before. Do not think about the things of the past. Mm -hmm. And verse 19 says... See, I will do a new thing. Yes. It will begin to happen now. The new day, the new year, the new beginning. Praise will God. Not, <clears throat> will you not know about it? <coughs> I will even make a road in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Oh. Amazing the God we have. See, when the world says impossible, yeah. God says, possible. I am possible. possible. Amen. <laughs> Moses got in front of the Red Sea and he's got all these Israelites with him. And then he looks at the Red Sea, it's impossible. And he looks back and he sees the Egyptian army and he says, impossible. And he looks to God and God says, I am possible. And guess what? The Red Sea opens. It parts and he marks right through it. On dry ground, all the way through. And God saved. And when they got to the other side, the armies tried to come. Mm -hmm. And then it just closed on them. 2 Corinthians 5 17 says, Therefore, if anyone, if anyone, and we haven't said this, but this coming year, get you a Bible. Yeah. <laughs> get you a Bible okay. that you can highlight. Highlight, mark. Get you a highlighter. Get you right. a pen. Get you a pencil. <laughs> mark it. Highlight it. Read it on a daily basis, yes. highlight it, yes. underline it, put your name where it says I, me, uh -huh. you, put your name to it, personalize it. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. Yeah. Go ahead, <coughs> put the other one up. There you go. This is whose Bible? My Bible. My Bible. This is Jose's Bible. Yes. This is Hector's Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mark it. Yeah. And if you pick it up, You'll know. Oh yeah, this is Hector's Bible. Yeah. He's got a name all over the Bible. <laughs> I know who to give it to. Praise God. Therefore, if anyone's in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed, passed away. away. Behold, all, all things have, have become new. You know people are gonna walk out to you because they see the same Hector. They see the same Brenda. And they'll walk up to you and tell you uh -huh. what you've done in your past. Oh, but you know, when you're a child of God and you've confessed you all those no things, past. you've had a new birth. That's right. You've been born again. Yes. A spiritual birth. Yeah. You're a new creature in Christ. Yes. 
Those things are passed away. But they still see the same person. Physically, they see the same person. But inside, I am born again. Amen. See? Brother, sister, that person's gone. That person's no longer here. Yeah. It's dead. I'm a, I'm a new person mm -hmm. in him. They don't understand until they know the truth. The truth is going to set them free. Right. Amen. 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 Praise God. Colossians 3, 4, and uh, 3 and 4 says this in the Message Bible. Listen to this. Your old life is dead. Your new life, your new life, which is your new life, yeah. even though invisible, invisible to spectators, it is with Christ in God. Mm -hmm. He is your life. When Christ, your real life, remember, Show up again on this earth. You will show up too. Yeah. The real you. The glorious you. Amen. Meanwhile, be content with obscurity like Christ. Uh -huh. Things are going to happen. Yeah. Bad things are going to be all around you. Yeah. But still, you are the light. Yeah. You are the share of good news. You are the minister of reconciliation. Yes. You Thank are you. the ambassador for Christ. Bringing yeah. the good news to a lost world. Amen. Amen. So we'll stop there and we pick up. Uh, next yeah. year, some of you I won't see you until next year. <laughs> so have 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 a, 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 a happy and glorious and prosperous and triumphant New Year in Amen. Him. Amen. Yeah. No longer being a slave or a prisoner to your past. That's right. Amen. That's Learn the lesson and get up, dust yourself, and press on. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God bless you.